Hey everyone, welcome back to the Six Gear channel. In today's review, I actually have a 2022 F-150 XLT 302A with the Sport Pack. Um, really, really nice truck. Very hard to get your hands on one. And I wanna thank you to Magnuson Ford here in Abbotsford, BC for allowing me to review this truck. If you have any questions or if you wanna come take a look at their inventory, I will leave their link in the comments down below. But other than that, let's get into the review. Alrighty everyone, so finally I got my hands on a 2022 F-150 XLT 302A package um, in carbonized grey here. Uh, I like the carbonized grey because it looks good with the Sport Pack rims as well as the grille itself. Now this one here, we'll start with the front. Now the new generation came out in 2021 and the one thing that I truly loved with the XLT especially was they gave you daytime LED running lights. So as you can see, it carries throughout through the fog light and you get the halogen light in the front there, but it is an LED light um, daytime running light as well as headlight itself. Looks awesome. I'm happy they actually went through with an XLT daytime running light as opposed to just halogens. You get come across here, we have the Sport XLT grill. Inside the grill here, we do actually have act, um, grill shutters themselves. And this one is equipped with a 360 camera, which was not previously an option on the previous generation, but now they're giving you the option to have a 360 camera. And as we carry over to the passenger side, we can see we get the same look. One thing that I like also with the new generation is you do get parking sensors at the front to help with parking. The active grill shutters do also carry down below, as you can see underneath the plate bracket there. you got your recovery hooks as well. And that is pretty much it for the front. You get the parking sensors here on the bo on both sides. They actually stick out a little bit to help with when you are parking or getting close to something, it gives you more of an angle. So just in case an object is closer over here as if it was facing the front here, you wouldn't maybe pick it up as now it's curved. So you can see it kind of helps when you're parking with that whole bumper area. The hood itself looks good as well. It's got some bulging to it. So right here, as you can see, kind of comes up a little bit. You've got some two inserts here, makes it look really good. Now that is it for the front. Let's dive into the motor that this one is equipped with. Alrighty, so coming into the power plant of this F-150, we have the three and a half liter EcoBoost producing 400 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque mated to the 10-speed auto. Now you're gonna get fa fantastic power and driving capability of this motor and great towing capability as well when you equip this engine with the truck with the appropriate trailering specs. Um, one of my favorite motors from uh, the Ford lineup of engines. I would probably go, depending on what you're doing, this motor them, uh, itself or the 2.7. The 5 liter is a great option, but if you're looking for fuel economy, I would recommend the 3.5 or the 2.7 or the power boost they just came out with. But that is it underneath the motor. Let's take a look around the F-150. Alrighty, so taking a look around the F-150, we'll start here with the tire and rim. So this is an optional 20 inch rim with the Sport Pack, which I truly love. The tire size is 275, 60, or 20. Love the rim, um, you got your lock nut there too. And the tire is Hankook Dyna Pro A2, AT2s. Coming over on the side, we do have a functional side vent here, as you can see with Chrome F-150 XLT. It does come with a running board when you opt for the 302A package. We have your mirrors that are a lot different from the previous generation. And then since this one is equipped with a 360 camera, you can see the camera sticking out there. We do also get the keyless entry, so you can actually lock it and unlock it with the key in your pocket, which is also a great feature. And then Ford's key code here on the door, which I do like as well. We don't get the keyless entry in the back door, unfortunately. It's only on the front two doors, which I wish Ford did it on the back. It looks like a lot of manufacturers are starting to just kind of do it on the front two doors as opposed to the back, but what can you do? I like, like I said, the running board. I do also like, like I said, the color combination with this is amazing. I'll get you a glimpse of the back rim and tire. Fuel door is on the driver's side, capless fuel door as well, so that makes it easier to fill up. We don't have FX4 on this particular model, but it's a Sport and 4x4. 
Now that is it around or the side of the truck. Let's take a look at the rear. Okay, so coming to the back of the F-150, we can see we also get the parking sensors on the back, so there's four in total. Also, one thing to note is the max tow with the proper setup on this truck with the three and a half liter equipped is about 14,000 pounds. Now you do need the max trailer tow package and the biggest differential to, in order for you to get that max tow package on this particular vehicle. You have your plugins here for your trailering equipment and then this is for your spare tire as well. You do also get the light here so it helps at night when you are backing up to a trailer or maybe hooking up a trailer so you can see. This one does have the power tailgate which is nice. It only is powered down. Lariat and higher you can get the optional power tailgate to go up and down. This one does have the tailgate step as well, which is a fantastic feature with the F-150s. I always recommend to get that. And it's kind of dummy proof. You have the steps there to, to make sure it goes back into its place. Ford added these two clamp holes here. And what that means is if you are using this maybe to cut wood or do type of some type of material where you need to clamp, they've given holes here so that instead of clamping your whole tailgate, you can just kind of clamp through here and you're good to go. There are some, um, well, they're tie down hooks, but I also call them beer bottle openers on both sides of the tailgate. This is the exterior work surface here, which has metric and imperial measurements. Um, it is a uh, composite material, which Ford says. But there's some slots here to put maybe some pens and then also on the left side you have a slot maybe to put your phone here so you maybe if you're watching a video you can not have to hold it you can have this slot here to do so now the bed itself you can get the optional spray and bed liner which i always recommend you also have your power over on the driver's side here so it is a 120 here and 400 watts your light switch is also up here to turn on the bed lights and turn off the bed lights now the one thing that i really like when you get the 360 camera if i come up here you can see that there actually is a camera up here and that is for the bed so when you do get the 360 camera you automatically get the bed camera as well and you also getting the 302a you get the rear sliding window with rear defrost one thing that you don't get with the XLT though is the rear LED lights. They are halogens. As soon as you get the Larry, you do get the LED lights, but it's nothing too crazy, nothing too picky about. That is it for the back of the F-150. Let's take a look at the back cabin. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the rear of the F-150. So a couple things to note here. We'll start with the door panel. All soft touch material at the top. We have some nice padding down below here as well. I do find that the door handle is smaller in the new generation of pickups, but it's nothing too small where you're kind of complaining about window control. I like how also they've given you a cup holder here so you can easily put a cup. It isn't too big of a slot, but it's nice that they give you the option. This little diagram here is actually where they make the trucks in Dearborn, Michigan. So it's nice little Easter egg there. And then we also have some storage down below. Let's take a look over here at the seats. So the seats are cloth. You only get cloth in an XLT and they are very nice and plush. I do like the seating pattern as well. It looks good. It doesn't look too cheap. Um, I personally love cloth myself. It's very plush and it feels good when you sit on them. The seats also do come up and you get plenty of room. These are the winter mats you get with the truck. But the nice thing is you get a flat floor with the F-150, which makes tons of room. You also have some more storage. These are some cargo clamps that you can put in the back of the bed for more cargo clamping if you need it. Now let's take a look inside here. Now as we can see, there are some vents and then some power as well. So we get a 12 volt and down below we have a USB and USB-C as well as a 120. So nice little uh, nice power back here for the passengers. As well as the cup holders, I really do like the cup holders being there as well. If this one is full, is filled with one, you can always put them there if needed be because there isn't any cup holders behind in the seat themselves. Now, one thing that I really do like with this F-150 is it's equipped with the power sunroof, full panel sunroof, and it truly is a great option when you do get the sunroof on this truck. I don't see many XLTs with a sunroof, so this being... A full panel on this option truck I think it's a really great spec but nice panel sunroof I do recommend always getting one 
That is it for the back. Let's take a look at the driver's seat. Alrighty, so taking a look at the driver seat. We'll start with the door panel. Door panel I find is a little bit bigger, but you do get that soft touch material. Some, some stitching is nice as well. The image of where they make the trucks is there too. You have your window controls. Front two windows are automatic. Your uh, window or your mirror controls and then window lock. One thing I really, really like what they did is they moved the unlock and lock position up here as opposed to being down here. When you had the door shut, it was a pain in the butt to kind of lock and unlock your truck if needed. I like how they put it right there. The door handle as well and then some nice soft padding for your arm and then some slots here, some storage to put some stuff if needed. Now coming into the seats, we can see we get some nice cloth material with some stitching. The seats are very, very comfortable, I do have to admit. I have no problems with the seat. The power controls are down below. And then while we are over here, we get some controls here for your lighting, uh, for your mirrors. And then this is actually a power release for your tailgate. Your light controls are down here, tailgate light, or your bed light rather. And then your parking brake is down below here as well. And that is pretty much it before we hop in. Let's take a look inside the interior. Alrighty, so hopping into the interior of the F-150 XLT. One thing that you'll notice if you came from a previous generation XLT to this is like night and day in here. They redid the whole interior and it looks absolutely amazing. So one, I am actually going to turn the temperature down because it is hella hot in here. But we'll start with the steering wheel. We also we have your cruise control on this side. It does look like it has the adaptive cruise control and your lane, keep assist, lane keeping assist on this side, which is nice. Uh, volume, your voice command is here too. Over here, these buttons control the front infotainment. So if we hit menu, we can go through different uh, settings here. So my view, I like customizing the comm screen. Oh, whoops. The comm screen is a really, really nice screen. I always recommend having it just because it just doesn't really have anything, it's comm. So once you equip that, we can go into my view and then the comm screen's there so you can see it doesn't really give you anything. So you can customize it to the way you like. Back is obviously going back. Call pickup and call hang up and this tunes the radio here. The steering wheel itself is nice. It's different and it feels really big, which I like. Um, and I like the slot here, which is nice to put my hand. It fits right in just like that. On the left side here, we have your window controls here, your window stock. And we'll talk about the screen here. We have analog and digital as well. So I like that they kind of, it's like the previous generation's Lariat screen instead of being the full digital like you do get in the Lariat and up. But they've put the old, basically updated version of the Lariat pra, uh, pra, past gen into here, which I like. Over here, you'll be able to see your transmission um, gears when you go through them. But I really like the whole screen layout, which is awesome. Coming across the dash here, it is a hard touch plastic, but it looks good. It doesn't look too cheap, which I like. And we have some storage also up here, just in case you wanna put some stuff. And this looks to be just some more design elements as well. Now coming over to the passenger side, the we get an upper glove box now. So pushing this in, we have a little bit more storage at the top. And then coming down below are your books. And if you wanna keep your lock nuts in there, so that's that. Now coming, into the center here, we have the beautiful 12 inch screen. Um, nothing has really changed for the 2022 model year, uh, but the 2021 generation was the new redesign. So we'll start here, while well, we get your pro trailer back up, we get push button start, which is nice, which you did not get in the past generation. We have your trailer brake controller, and then your drive mode selects is here. One thing that I do wanna mention here is when you turn this into your drive modes, you do get a little bit of a diagram here. So as you can see, we get normal, we get tow haul, eco, and then sport, and you get a little bit of an animation too which is awesome, I think it looks amazing, and it will shift you into 4x4 if needed be. So that's just turning the knob here. When you wanna go into 4x4, just press the buttons. Now coming into the screen, looks great. Before we do actually, we'll go to some buttons here. Um, you got your camera here, so 360 camera, which is awesome. You can go to different camera angles. The This gives you a bird's eye view of your hitch. This is just your rear camera. This is your bed camera. Um, which isn't as good quality as the other cameras, but it's nice that you actually have that camera and then it's at the front and I think this gives you a split view, which I really, really like. I'm glad they put that in XLT. And just to get out of it, hit the camera button. This is 
basically your parking sensors when you're backing up um, and going forward, uh, hazards, and then trash control. So now getting into the screen, beautiful screen. I really, really like it. Um, it works very well. You've got two settings here for um, whatever you want on each side. So right here, you can go through and cycle through which part you want on this side. So if I hit this button here, this gives me options to have different settings here. So I want navigation on this side. I can have the map on this side. One thing is, if you push this little button here or this little arrow, this switches it, which I really like this setting here. I like how you get the nav here and the audio. But if I want to switch it back to, you know, the other screen I had on, I can just hit the button. Um, you have rewinding satellite, ra satellite radio here, which is awesome. Down below are your hotkeys, so your phone, um, your navigation, um, your favorites, your apps, your settings, and then your features. Um, you do get two great things in this truck. Right now you have zone lighting. So zone lighting is basically a control where you can turn on all the lights on the truck. Um, you can turn on just the fronts if you like, you can turn on the sides, whichever ones you want. You can hit all zones, all the truck lights are on. Really, really great setting, especially at nighttime. This is one awesome feature that I recommend to anyone who is maybe towing. So right now there's an onboard scale. And what that means is, it's so cool. Basically your tail lights will fill up depending on how much weight is in your trailer or your, in your bed and your tongue weight as well. It is just so cool. It basically, it's an onboard scale to make sure you're not going overboard with um, your bed. So it tells you in the lights, basically like that, it's so cool. Basically when you're full, I think that's an amazing, amazing feature. And I'm surprised more trucks don't have that in there um, as an option. So that's pretty much for the screen. Uh, very uh, intuitive and very easy to use. All your hockeys are down below. But I do like the 12 inch. You do get only the 12 inch in the 302A package with the F-150. Coming into the bottom here, we can see we have some more buttons. Uh, volume, they do feel nice to the touch too. It is dual zone climate as well. And you get your heated seats too. The fan control is here. Um, basic basic stuff here um, nothing too crazy you can actually turn the screen into a calm mode or you can actually turn the screen off by pushing that and then just tapping the screen you can resurrect it back to life over on the right side here we have a 12 volt as well as a 120 just in case if you need more power usb and usb c's down below this also is compatible with apple carplay wirelessly which is awesome now, this is the coolest party trick of them all in a truck. You can actually put this down and this does have the option for does have the option for the interior work surface. So you can put this down and voila, it creates a work surface here. So with the plug there, you can have your laptop here, you can start doing some work, you can eat your lunch, you could you could do a lot of stuff. I'm not going to go into everything you can do, but I'm sure people have some ideas. But I think that it is an amazing option. I'm so happy they actually came up with that. And of course, you can only do this when you are in park. And then just pushing the button here resurrects it. And it feels good to the touch. I like the, the, the design of it. It feels like you're kind of in a plane and you're pulling back the throttle. It, it's got a really good look to it. You also have the manual mode on the side too. So that is pretty much it for the center here. You do also get, if I lift this up, you get a lot of room inside the center console so you got some storage in here which you can take out more charging as well usb usb c's because everyone knows you need to start charging your stuff um, and that is it it is just a beautiful cabin here everyone i have no complaints about this truck if i was going to get a truck right now and i was spending just around the 60s to 70 range I would probably get into an F-150. That is just my per opinion. I think they make one of the best trucks right now in the market, um, which they're proven because they are basically the best selling truck right now in North America. Um, it's just gonna come down to personal opinion, but I truly think the F-150 XLT is giving you the best value. Now that is pretty much it for the interior. Let's look at the price of this one. Okay, so let's talk price. So, ton of options on this truck. But right now we're at a total price of 67,520 Canadian dollars. Um, a lot of money, I will say, I'm not gonna disagree, but right now with the market, it's just you can't get these trucks, um, at least especially here in Canada, unfortunately, but that is the price of this F-150. Let's go around and give you my final thoughts. All right, everyone, so that concludes my video of this 2022 F-150. 
I honestly think this is the best truck right now in the market for value. Um, I love the whole redesign. I think it's an amazing truck inside and out, but it's gonna come down to personal preference and, and that's just really what truck buyers are like. Um, they're gonna, everyone's a Ford GM and Ford guy. Um, personally, like I said, I would go with this F-150 XLT. I think it looks amazing. It drives incredible and the power is amazing with towing, uh, cap with the best towing capability as well. But that concludes my review of this 2022. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments and we will see you in my next video. Cheers.